Hey, what's going on, guys? Christian Hannah Hall here today. I'm late on this, so I apologize, but I uh, realized I never did a video basically just kind of showing a lot of my favorite physical media releases from last year. So I figured, uh, what the hell? So, no order, and if it's from 2020, I, I, I apologize. <laughs> I mean, most everything should be from last year, but you know how it is. Let's get started. How about uh, Donnie Darko 4K? I really like this release. I thought this was a really cool 4K release. Uh, there was some kind of problems people were having with this. I still truly don't remember. I think it was something like if you played on an Xbox that could play 4K, it didn't play it right. You had to have like a real 4K player or something like that, you know. But I never had no problems with mine, and I thought this release was just fantastic. I, I bought it from Best Buy too. Uh, I love Donnie Darko. It's one of those movies I did not like when I first saw it, but then I was just like, I don't know, I'll watch it again, and I would love it a little bit more, and then I'd see it again and like it even more. It's uh, you know, I kept going. So Donnie Darko is a this one. You, you could probably still get it too. This uh, best, be, I got it at Best Buy, and I saw him at during Black Friday and all that stuff. So cool, cool movie. How about uh, Bride Reanimator? Beyond Reanimator, excuse me. This is the uh, Region B from uh, Arrow. And uh, I think it's Region B. Yeah, it is. It's Region B. Uh, Beyond Reanimator is really fun. Uh, it's the third Reanimator film where Jeffrey Combs, Herbert West is in jail, and uh, havoc ensues. He's still doing his thing, trying to make reagents in prison. Fun stuff. I really like. I really like uh, Beyond Reanimator. Really cool film. And this is a really nice release. There's the Vestron release in America. But I, what happened was there was a couple releases that I did not like from Vestron and the picture quality. I didn't, I wasn't thrilled with it. So I got cold feet getting Beyond Reanimator because I, I really like that film. And I think it's the same transfer that Vestron has, but thankfully the picture was good on this. So I'm sure the Vestron's just as fine too. Uh, Mortuary, a little charming little film that uh, MVD put out last year. Not a bad little flick. I like Mortuary. Uh, it's not going to change your life, but I had a good time with it. It's a... Uh, Obviously, it's got my boy Bill Paxton in it, in it, so um, that's a home run for me. I, I pretty much like everything Bill Paxton has done. Uh, he's just a great actor. I love him, and this is one of his early roles, I think. But yeah, I like uh, Mortuary. Nice little charming v MVD release from a cool little flick. All right, guys, true romance. I mean, I, I, I love this film so much. This film is so freaking good. I mean, that scene where you get... Uh, you know, Christopher Walken and Dennis Hopper together, that is cinematic gold, man. They Those guys can act, and that scene is something else. I think this is the Region B as well. Uh, I don't know if this got a release in America, but this is uh, the Blu-ray edition. This came out on 4K as well, but I figured, what the hell, I'll save a few bucks, get the Blu-ray version. It looks fantastic. I love True Romance. This is a nice release. Man, this film is just awesome. Uh, Phantom of the Mall, guys. I mean, Phantom of the Mall is a really, really fun little slasher flick from the, flick from the late 80s. It's got my boy Pauly Shore in it. Uh, fun movie. And I'm so glad they got Justin Osborne to do the art on that release, too. That's really great. So, Phantom of the Mall, Eric's Revenge. Really cool flick. Really nice release. If you missed out on this and it's sold out, hang tight. They'll do a regular release of Phantom of the Mall soon. But uh, I'm glad I got the Chunky Box Edition because it's a really good movie. I really enjoy Phantom of the Mall. How about the 4K of the thing? Uh, what a what a 4K! What a film! I mean, it's always a great time of life when you're able to get a new release of the thing, which I consider to be the greatest John Carpenter flick ever. And uh, they did a great job on this 4K. I thought it looked really good and uh, just lovely. I own so many copies of the thing, and I love each and every copy. I've got the Scream Factory Collector's Edition right when that came out. I got the Steelbook Edition. I've got the laser disc. I got a VHS. The thing is just awesome. I love owning the thing. So here, here, here it is. You know the thing. Great stuff. How about Stephen King's The Dead Zone? What a great Scream Factory release. I love, love, love this movie. I think it's so good. And uh, this Scream Factory release started started off the year with a bang. If memory serves, I think it came out fairly early in the year. It's got my favorite Sheen in it, Martin Sheen, and he is great. This movie is awesome. I love it so much. Christopher Walken kills it in this movie. You know, I know that a lot of people my age kind of remember him from some of his Saturday Night Live stuff, and, you know, he, 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 he gained a whole new audience with his uh, Joe Dirt, when he was his role in Joe Dirt. I mean, his sound bites were incredible. I'll stab you in the face with a soldering iron. And he is a funny guy. 
but he's like done so many brilliant, great movies. A lot of my friends, I have no idea that like he's like this great serious actor. They just think he's this funny guy from Joe Dirt, you know. But he has done so many amazing things. It's not even funny. And the Dead Zone is one instance of his acting ability. Just fantastic. All right, Return to Salem's Lot. What a fun, silly little horror sequel to the great first Salem's Lot, which I think is a masterpiece. I love that movie. Rest in peace, Toby Hooper. Return to Salem's Lot does not take itself seriously. It's it's silly. It's funny. And there's some really cool special effects in here. Michael Moriarty is back. This is a Larry Cohen film. Does not try to compete with the first movie. It totally just takes itself not so serious, but it's fun. I have a great time with Return to Salem's Lot. So that was a nice little release. House of Wax, I think this was the start of the year, too. Uh, House of Wax, what a great release for a fun, you know, 2000 slasher film. I love it so much. Paris Hilton's awesome. This she's probably my favorite character. I love this movie. Really fun. House of Wax is cool, man. What a great release from Scream Factory. How about the Steelbook of Friday the 13th, man? I, I can't help myself. I just loved this Steelbook. I thought it was awesome. Look at Roy Burns on the back of there. Uh, I love Friday the 13th with a passion. It's my second favorite horror franchise. Anytime I have a chance to get something new from them, I, I, can't, I can't stop myself. So I love it. I love getting new releases for Friday the 13th. And this Steelbook, man, with Roy Burns on the back, I just, it's, it's, it's money to me. How about Scream? The uh, 4K release of Scream this year. I reviewed this, and I, I was so happy that the picture quality was so good on this, and it had that real natural film look that really felt like the 80s again. You know, some of the you know Blu-rays and DVDs, they kind of sharpen and kind of do this and that with a picture. And not that it's bad, but like this 4K reminded me a lot of my Laserdisc with that natural, just great film look. And I loved the 4K release of Scream. They did a great job. Uh, do you like scary movies? So, you know, what can you do? I love it. I love the release of Scream on 4K. So, awesome. How about Tix, man? Tix was a uh, really cool little uh, early 90s, uh, just silly, fun horror film. That's exactly what you think it is. It's about big, monstrous Tix. Uh, really fun movie. Uh, this is from uh, Vinegar Syndrome, and you can still get this. This is a 4K release. Uh, what's interesting is this is one of the only times I've ever seen where the Blu-ray looks like trash compared to the 4K. Like, the color is dim and dull on the Blu-ray of this, but the 4K looks beautiful. It's like, it's a stark difference. You know, uh, it's interesting to me, but I loved Tix. This is a great release with great special features. It's got Carlton Banks in it, in here, so... Uh, pricey release, but still, they got the job done with the Kindred. This is a, a really cool monster movie. Uh, this is a movie I've wanted to see for a long time, and it got close to meeting my expectations. Uh, really stacked release. You got cards, soundtrack, CD, three-disc release. Uh, the Kindred is an awesome, awesome, awesome monster movie with really great special effects. Um, it, it's... The reason this movie took so long to come out from Synapse was legal issues. The, the owner of the film was unclear, so there wasn't a, the ability to release it yet. But awesome release. I'm happy to have The Kindred. It's a really cool film that I'd, I'd love to revisit right after this video, quite frankly. How about Twice Dead? Man, I really like Twice Dead. Uh, you know, they did a limited run of this on Blu-ray. Um, I think you could still get it on DVD from Scream Factory if you want, but what a cool little film. What's cool about Twice Dead is they have the song uh, Dancing on Midnight, which was from Halloween 5, and they, they put that song in this movie too, so that was a really cool moment. Funny funny sense of humor, funny funny movie. I really like Twice Dead. I think this was a uh, um, Corman flick. Yeah, I think it's a Corman flick. Uh, but yeah, nice little release, Twice Dead, man. I, I can't, go, can't go wrong with Twice Dead. Um, how about the Synapse release of Demons 1 and 2? This is the Blu-ray version. I mean, they, they, the, the movies look really good. Even though this is just Blu-ray, the 4K scans of this look so much better than the older Blu-ray releases. And these, these are, this is, this is Italian Horror 101. If you, if you haven't gotten into Italian Horror yet and you're not sure where to go, this is a perfect avenue. Demons 1 and 2, they're great. The soundtracks are so Americana hard rock. It's... Even Part 2. Part 2 soundtrack is awesome. It's got the cult in it. I love the cult. That's one of my favorite bands. Uh, great release. Demons 1 and 2. Uh, check that out. This is still available. 
they have the 4K release, but they have the Blu-ray release. If you're not a 4K person yet, know that these movies look fantastic still, even on Blu-ray from the upgrade. Event Horizon. Uh, everybody was really bummed out we couldn't get the extra footage. I think it's just gone forever, but still, they did a good job on this release. This is a fantastic movie, Event Horizon is. It's just, uh, I can't get enough of Event Horizon. I think it's so good. It's one of the best from, from the 90s, man. I was shouting at the rooftops for this to get a collector's edition, and it finally did. Not that I'm saying I was responsible, but I'm just saying I was shouting at the rooftops because it's such a good movie. So it's a, it's like The Shining in space, man. It's so awesome. So Event Horizon, good job, Scream Factory, on that. They tried to get the footage. They looked, but what can you do? This is kind of a 2022 thing, but it was released online in 2021, and I think it showed up either right before the new year or uh, right after. But I think it's technically still 2021. Night of the Demon... This movie's awesome. I'm gonna review. I'm gonna try to review this soon. Uh, ooh, there's some gross stuff in here. This is from Severn, man. Night of the Demon. What an awesome release. Night of the Demon. I won't spoil too much about that. Uh, how about this, man? For for last year, I've got to give it up to Halloween four and five. Now, the reason I'm giving it up to these two and not one, two, and three is because these two are where you really see the most advancement in picture quality. You know, one, two, and three have gotten upgrade after upgrade after upgrade 4k scans 2k scans probably i mean maybe not a 2k scan but like they did steel books of two and three from screen factor with 4k scans so the picture looked great so when you got to the 4k even though the 4k's looked better still it wasn't a night and day kind of difference for me but watching halloween four and five from those old blu-rays I was shocked at how good these looked it is the upgrade in picture quality for these two is so good it's like watching the films over again for the first time. So four and five get the most bonus points for me. They the picture quality blew me away. I, I kept saying to myself, okay, part three is gonna be the best look in 4K, man. When I watched it, I was like, man, this looks good. Then I was watching part four and I was like, holy crap, part four looks even better. Then I was watching part five and I was like, oh my god, part five looks even better. When in reality, I just think that part four and five my I had virgin eyes to see him on a 4K, genuine 4K, or anything even close. So, but good job on those transfers. And last but certainly not least, I gotta give it up to the Upside Down Evil Dead Groovy Collection. What a cool set. I mean, it's not perfect. You don't have Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness is owned by Universal. This is not a Universal release set. I think it's like, I don't know if it's Lionsgate or something. Whoever, whoever, some they got the rights to release one, two. And TV show. And uh, I, I still like the set. This is a really cool presentation for the set. And uh, I just enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it up to the Evil Dead Groovy Collection. Again, this was not any particular order. But these are just a lot of releases over the year that I, I enjoyed quite a lot. So please tell me what did you love over the last year. And maybe if it's something I haven't purchased yet, I can look into it. So if you have any questions about anything more in detail from this that I showed, please drop a comment below. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. This is Christian Hanahar. Happy 2022, even though we're, we're a few weeks into it right now. But still, let's make it a good year. See you guys soon.